Welcome to the Maxidia Tutorials. First of all, I would like to mention that this screen layout is customized for this tutorial. Customizing a layout can be done by clicking the View button and pressing Unlock. You are now able to create your own window layout, crafted to your needs. You can import new windows or delete existing windows. When ready, press Record. Click on a page and give the page a name. Don't forget to relog the View button. This tutorial will show you some more advanced cube programming techniques. But don't worry, we will start very simple by dragging a video file to a layer. In the global tab of the programmer window, we can adjust the dimmer, the speed and the blending mode of a layer. If you adjusted something and you are not pleased with the results, you can always switch back to the default settings of those parameters by pressing the default channels button. If you press the default layer button twice, all parameters will go to default. To adjust the precision of the belts, click on this button. A higher number of bits represent higher precision. In the 3D tab we can rotate and translate the layer in three dimensions. Note how I have quick access to useful presets through the direct access window. The window always displays presets that correspond with the parameters selected in the programmer page. In order to keep the original resolution of a movie, click on the size button and switch the original resolution fader to on. We cannot change the size of the video in this mode. If we switch the aspect ratio fader to on, the movie will retain its original aspect ratio even when the size is altered. If both aspect ratio and original resolution are turned off, the size can be adjusted in two independent dimensions. The color tab simply changes the colors. Note again how useful the presets are in the direct access window. We skip the shader effects tab for now, but see more of it in the next tutorial. The last step is the video tab. This tab contains special parameters for the video plugin. Other plugins have other parameters to tweak. We start by making a short loop out of the video using loop in and out points. Make sure that the loop mode is set to enabled. We can also adjust the start offset of a loop. This parameter sets the position where the video starts playing before it reaches its loop. To see the effect of this parameter, press the Restart Q button. The loop offset can be very useful if you like to make a video loop with an intro. Something like this for example. Next to the video button is the options button. Here you can turn the frame blending on and off. This is especially useful for frame rate conversion or playing a movie at a different speed, like I demonstrate now. 